Hello, welcome back to another Pick a Card general reading. As always, I have the three piles here. Group one on the left, two in the middle, three on the right. We have some corresponding crystals as well, amethyst, citrine and clear quartz. So just pause the video if you need to, take a moment to choose which pile resonates with you and down below will be the um, timestamps along with the cards that I'm using and a link to my Facebook page. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me there. I hope you enjoy your reading. Hi, group three. Uh, group three, what the heck? Group one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally just started. Group one. <laughs> We have the amethyst for you. Um, starting out with your charms. The, an amethyst came out and rolled straight next to the amethyst. So your intuition, and I can see in the cards here too, is guiding you through this situation right now, through this week. And what we have in the center of this week is the padlocked heart, key up, the keyhole upright, and an attachment charm. So there is a feels like a family situation perhaps it may not be just some sort of relationship situation friend workplace it could you you fit it however um that has sort of got you bound to the situation perhaps but you know how to navigate your way through this now like you've learned a lot for navigating difficult situations shall we say and you know how to move through this situation maybe not as well as uh, better than you used to in the past like maybe you didn't know uh, in the past, it maybe it challenged you these sorts of situations, but I feel like you um, have gained a lot of skills or something that, that you, because like these these charms do come out quite a bit, especially lately, and, and often it's been quite stuck, and these can be heavy charms, but to me, when I see this, I just feel like you know what you're doing. Uh, we have this beautiful uh, flower which talks about community and healthy connections and supporting each other and everybody coming in to do their fair share. Um, and it is that time of year where we're coming together and planning these sorts of things too. We've got the uh, citrine and the peg charm as well. So um, speaking of your natural abundance, that was at the bottom. So you're sitting, I feel like, in a place of your own personal power and there could be a new a financial situation coming in for you, some sort of abundance coming in, uh, in your place of work or to do with the things that you chip away at, that you work at. These are the, the mundane sort of, um, you know, uh, things in life that we attend to, the responsibilities and ob uh, obligation was something that, I, a word I heard with this charm too. So this may be like a, um, somebody you're a situation you're obliged to um, uh, engage in for whatever reason family it does feel like but everyone will be a bit different we were starting out actually with an oracle card goose we had this in last week's reading it may have been the one you chose may not but this is a family energy that talks about long life devoted connections and um there's a lot of fatherly energy in this reading, so it could be a father energy that you're dealing with this week, or you could be the father. Um, but this is talking about those the parental guidance and uh, being vigilant and right, like yeah, taking care of your community and working together and all that sort of stuff. So start that there in the situation. We've got Daughter of Cups, the Star, and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a really nice energy to start out the reading. Daughter of Cups and the Star, Ace of Pentacles. A fresh new financial opportunity perhaps or some sort of new beginning in the physical. It could be a new job or a, a, a new way of um, connecting or a new opportunity to connect with deeper with people or with your family or a friend or something like this. We've got the Daughter of Cups and the Star. So that's a very... Um, dreamy wish upon a star sort of energy it could be something that you've wished for or an offer coming in or has come in for you that's um new and fresh and exciting um something that you perhaps hoped for for a while there is a lot of hope and dreams about something new that you want to bring in perhaps there's there's a uh, there's a lot of fresh energy that you have in to give for, for whatever reason maybe you've done something to fill your own cup recently or um, you sh I feel like maybe shedding has happened in recent weeks or months. 
and there's this freshness ready for, that you have to offer um, a situation or yourself so that you can be uh, more or, or effective or available to this situation perhaps as well. Like I see a, a, a caring for self here that is then rippled out as well. Intuitively guided. Self-love is <laughs> important in this situation and I feel like that's something that you may use to navigate such situations. Which would explain why I feel like you've um, you manage you know how to manage these things better now. Maybe it's some tools that you have gained. So in the challenge, we've got the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So this could be literally a father figure, um, a sort of energy, or your, or a masculine energy, a partner. It could be your own energy as well. But we it's represented by Aries. I'll go through the star signs well before I jump in and forget. We've got. Um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Pisces, Virgo again, uh, and Libra and Taurus. There's a fair few characters out here today. Okay. Um, but like I always say, if it doesn't resonate with any of those signs with you, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. If it does, that's good. Um, so yeah, the, this is, um, there's a challenge here. This could be a challenge. I can see a lot of family dynamic issues in this situation too. So it could be something that's been said that's been hurtful or, or, um, emotionally disconnected, something that's said in a stoic way, or it could also be travel plans or, um, not being met eye to eye, trying to organize perhaps the Christmas period or something. And that's not working out. Like everyone has different ideas or or the, the the father figure has a has a way it wants to be done or um it could there's yeah there's a lot of a lot of strong masculine energy here and that that being your challenge maybe yeah, like that obligation energy too and now i feel a bit flushed at this point in the reading so it could like like you have to internalize sometimes the feelings like maybe you can't always speak your truth to this person that may be the case too or sometimes it's better just to not say that thing <laughs> um yeah if, mm, i'm not sure how to move forward on that one so we'll just sit with that and move to beliefs six of cups two of swords and the hanged man so six of cups first and foremost in the beliefs area it's it's knowing that this with the goose energy as well daughter of cups um it's knowing that this is a, a, a either a soul connection or a family connection everlasting long lasting deeply committed connection with somebody with the six of cups it also talks about reunions and coming back together and returning to the family home so this could be about christmas planning and or the holiday uh, however you celebrate and coming together and so there is a belief here of you know we should be reuniting or we should be um we should be connected in this way uh and then we've got two of swords and a hangman so not sure how to make that work or there could be a situation the situation with the masculine energy here that's not seeing eye to eye perhaps or um perhaps you're feeling yeah like you need to just sit with this and and let it either let it work itself out it's an energy where i feel like you don't need to be doing anything like i feel like it has to work itself out around you perhaps and you just have to be a certain way if that makes sense i hope um there's a um There's this feeling of not wanting to make a step forward for, for whatever reason. Maybe a timing thing too, kind of feels a bit like. In the uh, root of the issue, we've got the Six of Swords and Temperance and Challenges. I've put the Oracle cards throughout the reading where I feel they belong. Unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over, Divine, and guide, guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. There you go that's how i was feeling just a moment ago in these cards where it's like you've got to, it's like you have done all you can perhaps or or been all that you can and and are very supportive and strong and nurturing to all that you um you know in this situation you hold your energy well and so <laughs> this challenge is like 
sounds like a whole lot of your problem <laughs> not your problem but theirs um, and they need to work that out or you're at least asking for some sort of intervention from your guides which is uh, wonderful and this fits in with these cards here six of swords and temperance so this is the root of the issue needing to just surrender and be patient to this situation and sort of move it into karma waters when you can if you can how you can um, I feel a bit tongue-in-cheek at this point in the reading too like you're a lot more mature than this situation as well so it's like mm, come on come on whatever it is um, I want another card there maybe see if something wants to come out Terrifying. so it's yeah just more talk of it being a committed connection and th there is a lot of wisdom to gain from this experience too and, and in moving on whatever it is is you're just learning more about dealing with people four of wands um as well so yeah it's a it's a commit com a commitment to your community it's it's being a spiritual teacher here too like you sort of lead by example in a lot of ways i feel like a lot of people here look up and learn from you too um yeah interesting you have an ability to guide things from a place of chaos into kind of like more tranquil and uh, compromising and understanding and compassionate energy for everyone involved um, yes I see that in the recent past seven of Pentacles daughter of wands and the devil it's interesting I chose this deck for this reading and it's got the, the mother, da daughter and father sort of uh, for knights, kings and queens. And I just do feel that this is family related. So um, it very well could be uh, a father and two daughters here, that sort of situation, a mother. I do see um, two... Oh, is it two or three? Three representations of um being of the same kind or being of the same soul family in that way too because i've got the emperor and the empress i've got the king and queen uh, the mother and father of cups and the mother and father of pentacles so you know that's a three indications of divine match sort of energy here uh anyway the seven of pentacles daughter of wands and the devil ah <sighs> I, this could be a feel of numerous energies actually where we've got invested energy and you know doing all that you can and you know keeping things lighthearted and somebody uh, like wanting to navigate I feel like navigate something out of something that was heavy and binding into something more free and fun not like turning hard work into something enjoyable It's been, there's a lot of perhaps conversation had as well about what people prefer or what, what needs aren't being met or, um, or maybe perhaps changing a way of doing things as well. There's a lot of conversation I feel here about logistics of the way something functions or the way something relates or the way... Might grab another card here too. On the Eight of Pentacles. Oops, seven and eight of pentacles. Did that come out backwards? So there's been some immature sort of behaviour here, I feel like. I did feel that at the very beginning of the reading too. Like maybe someone was being a bit of a bully or something, but there's a or maybe it's like trying to avoid that sort of behaviour again. They're trying to work on it. What's I hope that resonates. Yeah, when I get this point of a reading and I'm confused and people will be message afterwards and say, that it made sense, don't worry. <laughs> I hope it does. Five of Wands in reverse. Um, yeah. Wanting to avoid conflict. I feel like this might be your energy too, where you've wanted to avoid conflict and make sure that everybody's doing their fair share and that things aren't um, expected or taken for granted and that... Um, people's views are being heard I'll just move on now 
<laughs> so moving into future energy today and onwards, we've got beautiful Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups came reversed. So this is more conversations, um, cooperation and teamwork about who, you know, this continuation. It's, especially with the Seven and Eight of Pentacles, I feel like we're looking at the way something has been um, tended to or invested in or dealt with or handled or approached and we're shifting and working on that so that it works for everybody we're putting more effort in ever I feel like everybody's coming together or it's about coming together to cooperate so that we can make this work whatever this is um, you know it could be a, a new there's a lot of indication of new growth here. It could be a new financial situation and a change in the in that area as well. I think we mentioned that. So, Eight of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, using the past to navigate the future in a way that works. Learning from the lessons. Um, perhaps giving it another go as well. The Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, sorry, can an upright can be talking about you know just giving up on something and walking away, and and the other way around it sort of indicates not wanting to give up and giving it another go and really coming together to make it work and communicating clearly and you know having the same image of or a picture or being on the same page, working towards a common goal, that sort of stuff. Um, and then I've chucked these oracle cards here too. Be bold and presence. So that's what this situation in the coming week asks from you. To just be present to the situation. Temperance card. The challenges card as well comes to mind. You know, allowing it to sort itself out in a way. And you just be you and do you. Um, be bold in what you need to say as well. And how you think things should function. Um, yeah stand strong there and then that carries me on into your self-perception the empress and the mother of cups and the strength card so finding if i probably am talking to the mother of a family here in this in this situation could be or at least in a situation where you provide nurturing care and guidance in a big way and very gentle soft loving energy here with the mother of cups deeply intuitive energy here we've got amethyst in the charms we've got the high priestess we've you know got a lot of really beautiful connected gentle divine feminine energy in this reading so you and but being challenged by this situation challenged yeah but got what it takes oh i <laughs> just i really feel that got what it takes um perhaps Perhaps needing stronger boundaries in a certain area, but asserted those. Like, again, back to that feeling of something you may have not dealt with as well in the past is something, it's, maybe it's a piece of cake now, or at least you know what to do. In the way others around you are perceiving you, we've got the Father of Cups, which was directly above the Queen of Cups. So, you know, if that's a, your spouse, that could indicate, you know, that they are seeing you as a, a person who sees their own heart clearly and connects with them in a beautiful gentle way that resonates with them um emotionally understanding of each other and uh yeah really nice energy in that way we've got the justice card and the fool as well so somebody seeing with the ace of pentacles and the daughter of cups this could be that you're putting yourself in a position where you're learning something new or trying something new. So the fool could be an indication of somebody witnessing you at this beginning of a new journey um, and ready to take on whatever that may be uh, and, and go for your dreams, sort of. I think that you're somebody who does um, go for what they want in life. Uh, whatever however that, that way that comes and we also had that justice card so uh far, fair and truthful and um honest and uh all those things that this justice card represents is how you are being viewed by other people around you um perhaps a little um what am i saying the word flipped right away and I, I don't even know what I was going to say. Perhaps a little what? What was it? Perhaps a little... Perhaps a little uh, emotional. The moon. Perhaps some fears come up. Perhaps, perhaps you're um, still, you know, uh, learning how to deal with those deeper emotions and keep a balance uh, in times of challenge. 
to learning to surrender just that bit deeper learning to trust the cycles and that this too shall pass in those times too five of swords learning how to deal with bullies as well perhaps learning how to deal with uh conflict that just doesn't have a place here it doesn't it's not necessary it's not needed maybe it's in your own self maybe you're, you're dealing with the con inner conflict as well um yes all right so in your uh advice just two cards was needed they're both major arcana it's the high priestess and the judgment card how good's that an intention Intention is simply allowing the will and mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest? My intention is that all God's wishes come true for me. And that's basically the definition of this combination, isn't it? Allowing your, your sense of judgment and, the, and your, the course of your life, the direction you go in, be aligned with the highest wisdom for, you know, this is embodying that sacred knowledge that you have. There's so much here about strong intuition and being guided in that beautiful feminine way, Mother of Cups. Um... So, yeah, knowing that your beautiful, pure intentions in this situation will guide you through any challenges to stay strong and trust your own sense of judgment and your intuition as you move through this to honour yourself in all positions, situations. And that's your guidance for this week, your advice there. And the outcome, the outcome, you have the Six of Wands, the Hermit and the Mother of Pentacles with the Self-Love Oracle. Show me how to sh love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. So, yeah, there's public victory here or being recognised for um, your own energy, your own work, your own intention, your uh, way of being, whatever it is that you want to showcase at this time. Um, and when I say showcase, I don't mean blah, blah, I just mean your input in this situation, the effect you want to have. Six of Wands. The Hermit card, guided by your own your own um, inner light. It is um, soul searching sort of energy. And, and so I feel like it's all the soul searching and work you have done on healing and self love and the way you um, tend to situations as I see you as constantly evolving and, and trying to be a better you each time you show up in a challenge. Um, yeah, I see a victory here and you getting to see, you know, uh, how all your hard work in the past of, of evolution growing and, and such has how you know how that pays off in the how you affect a situation and self-love in the outcome too so ch making choices that honor you the queen of pentacles is very much a self-loving queen um she's grounded in in nature and she knows you know the healing modalities whether that's you know literal nursing or just general feminine guidance and, and listening to the cycles of the earth and things like that with the beautiful queen of a uh, mother of pentacles Whew, okay i think that's all the cards we have there for this reading so i hope that gave some comfort clarity or guidance and uh look forward to reading again next week bye Hi, group two, and welcome to your reading. We've got the beautiful citrine crystal here. And um, I'll go straight for the charms. <laughs> All right, so. How do I even... All right, <laughs> okay, so we got the um, heart charm with the barriers around it. And so sometimes this can be a beaming outwards, love egg love projected outwards car, um, charm card in this case i feel like it's a self-protection charm or or um, at least you know putting a guard around your heart space and wanting to protect yourself from either your own mind or a, per a person or a situation that would otherwise cast doubt or make you feel you know less than or fearful we have the uh, black elephant as well which was sort of underneath so what I got from this is maybe this uh, you may be putting on a brave face in a situation or you may be um, like keeping up appearances uh, but underneath the surface there's something darker going on or something like that is maybe harder to deal with that you may not be sharing or you're trying to protect yourself from or we have uh, a beautiful flower charm which talks about healthy connections and community and coming together and sharing and um 
you know, it can talk about feminine circles and everybody sharing their piece of wisdom to come together to create the whole. Um, we have the beautiful key and uh, citron, just like the one that came from the top of your reading, and amethyst as well. So you, this is talking about you having all of the keys and the abundance within you to navigate any situation, including this one. You do have the keys. This is a, a reminder that you, um, you really have got everything you need to succeed. Whether you think that or not, you think like there's something you still need that's... Um, or some sort of level you need to acquire before you can be successful, then the message there is no, you actually do have everything you need to um, to protect yourself or to be successful and to trust your intuition because it knows as well. We have an attachment charm also came up in the first reading. Some sort of similar energy. You may have felt tempted to pick reading one. Um, so this can be... This charm is about a situation where... You are the center of this, and this is the 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 black diamantes. If you can see that on this side, are something that would threaten to penetrate and, and affect your inner sanctum or your inner peace or um, your your purity or your wholeness or that that little that thing within you that can't be tainted, can't be touched. Uh, something on the outside trying to affect, trying to get its way in. It could be your own self doubt, your own personal fears and limitations, like. Uh, crowding in and and you know that sort of energy could be there too we had the owl as well um which was face down so there is wisdom here and there is a way through here and you do have the key here i feel um but maybe not be using it or, or doubting that you've got it or got what it takes that's what i feel from there this is the, like this this situation you may be doubting your ability to get out of it or to navigate it but you have got what it takes. This is, um, I always link the owl charm to the energy of Lilith, which is very much about liberation and um, independence and, and lifting yourself up out of a situation using your wisdom and trusting your wisdom. Um, yeah, I sort of associate that to the um, sort of Hierophant, Seven of Wands sort of energy um, as well. There's a lot to be learned. Um, and there's also a need to protect self and defend self and liberate self as well. So we'll jump into the cards now. Hope those charms were fun. All right. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Um so yeah a feeling a bit stuck like these the charms would suggest feeling stuck by a situation that should otherwise be um happy or healthy or celebrating with four of wands is a community it's coming together it's celebrating it's joy it's um it can be weddings announcements of that sort of kind new opportunities to join a new community we've got the page of pentacles so um this is learning and studying and um sort of showing up to a new manifestation or, or drawing something new in. And so with the Eight of Swords, I'm wondering if you're feeling like, I feel like this is sort of sits behind. So it's, again, it brings me to that keeping up appearances perhaps where you're, um, you know, got a smiling face on, but there's something about this situation or that's got you feeling stuck or bound or, um, but it's all in, it's, it's, I want to say it's all in your head in that, um, you can, if the key is there, you can lift yourself up. Oh, another charm I had, sorry, was the um, aeroplane, which can talk about travel, but my personal um, experience with this plane is people that have passed on uh, and, in, and are in spirit to de delivering messages and guiding you through situations. I still need to decipher which it is. I feel like it's a bit of both um, movement forward either way navigating something <laughs> maybe literally going for a travel as well that could be on the cuts so yeah we've got whether this is a new job or new study or something um that you're about to begin perhaps uh there's this maybe doubts or fears around it or feeling like you're stuck to this situation it could be that you're feeling stuck in a certain workplace that was that isn't working out anymore, that may be it as well. In the challenge, we have the King of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. 
I'll go through the star signs before I go too far as well. We have Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Leo, Pisces. Yeah, not as many characters in this one, but that is fine. Doesn't matter if you didn't resonate with any of those, really doesn't. Um, so we've also got the authority card from the power cards oracle and I wanted to tuck that behind the king of pentacles and I feel like it could be this could be a boss a masculine figure in your life a, a father or um an authority of some kind that has perhaps yeah got got you feeling self-doubt got you feeling stuck in some way the Eagle card also came out reverse, so I put this in the challenges as well because it does talk about um, needing to protect yourself against a strong person or a strong a strong intellect. Um, I'll open the book and see. I'll oh, straight to the page. Okay. It knows when it knows how to renew itself in the secret lake and is able to balance its masculine fiery qualities with the feminine watery aspects of the lake, but when it cannot find the secret lake. When we deny our minds access to the heart, our lives can become dry and sterile, our intellects harsh and overly anal analytical. Now may be the time to see whether your mind and heart are in balance. You may want to pay more attention to your dreams, to listen to the call of the unconscious, to the depths within, without denying the value of your questioning rational mind. So yeah, the reverse is um, needing to guard against dangers of overpowering intellect. So this could be an external person, this masculine energy and authority, or it could be showing up in your own energy. Where you are needing to, there's a, there's an energy, the feeling here of, of um, self-doubt that I did feel through the reading, that um, maybe it's not self-doubt, it's some something of that energy, which is surprising because I'm, the reason I say maybe it's not self-doubt is because what I see of your energy, it is, why would you doubt yourself? You seem very connected, intuitive, and um, strong in that way. So anyway, there is a feeling perhaps of overinvestment or um, needing to juggle out where your energy goes or um, feeling maybe taken advantage of or taken for granted. It could be that sort of thing. Juggling out where you want to put your energy and will, where will you be successful. Feeling like... Um, you're waiting on success, constantly waiting on success and wanting to make the right, they did, like, I feel like there's a question in the past if you made the right choice back then or if you hadn't have done that, maybe you'd be here by now. There's, there's that sort of energy as well. Um, yeah. Maybe you could be over invested in a lot of different areas too and, uh, All right, so where do we go now? The beliefs. In the beliefs. Temperance, the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So you, you have this firm belief and understanding here that you need to surrender the pain, the mental anguish, the fears, um, the situation, whatever it is that's got you feeling bound that you may you know not display to everybody else. I feel like it's something you might keep to yourself quite a bit. Um, I feel like you don't really share your burdens. Maybe other people put these burdens on you and you just harbour them by yourself. I do feel that sort of energy. We have the forgiveness. Healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So, yeah, surrender and acceptance and, and to just be patient to this situation and to the, to the pain you may be experiencing. Um, and know that this too shall pass this situation will change even if it means you have to start again or even if it means you have to you've wasted your energy investing here or um whatever that situation is for you something you need to guard your heart against or you felt you needed to guard your heart against something that made you feel powerless perhaps or threaten to bring zap your energy or threaten to affect you in a way that like this perhaps or has affected you see so forgiveness and understanding and, and sort of acceptance for the, for the situation is your beliefs. You, you, I feel like, yeah, you have a, an understanding of the, of the bigger picture here. Even if 
uh, the details sometimes make you feel overwhelmed. In the root of the issue, how are they sitting? Yes, three of wands, ten of pentacles, four of swords. So it could be that you're wishing for more. You may have quite an abundance already and, and or a situation whether you feel stuck and bound to it and it's not resonating with you anymore and you want to move on from that or um, whatever that is. I feel like you're wanting more. You're wanting something else, whether it's because you haven't acquired it yet or because what you have acquired isn't what you really wanted. Maybe you thought it was and it's not or it didn't work out for whatever reason. But there's this waiting for expansion and but but not being able to pull it in quick enough, perhaps not being or having to um, having to wait for the results of something or having to wait for perhaps money to come in or some sort of contract or finalization of something um, But I feel like you, um, it feels out of your hands. It's a timing thing or that you, um, or the, the decision's been made perhaps or that at this point all you can do is sort of rest and allow it to pass maybe. In the recent past, we've got 10 of wands, 7 of cups, 5 of wands. So this situation may have gone on for quite some time and been really heavy for you and really confusing at times. We've got a lot of conflict energy. This could be a lot of people involved, a lot of different opinions, um, a lot of different options and um, a lot of... Uh, maybe it's just a, constantly a new thing. It's all maybe like for some people in this reading, it could be that as soon as you deal with one thing, it's like whack-a-mole. It's a new drama. It's a new thing. Boom, boom, boom. Just got to keep... <laughs> just, just trying to stay afloat or just trying to keep things you know like a f there could have been a bit of energy put into this situation or or that it was just so chaotic and, and exhausting you know it's, it seems to have perhaps have come to a head there seems to have been some sort of argument or a disagreement it could have been a real big eruption even um but yeah I'm trying to feel into the different energies in this situation to pull out who might be on your side or who might not, but I'm not really feeling that at all. I'm kind of getting that everybody involved here is um, involved here. If, if that applies, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I feel like you might be feeling outcast in this situation like you might be on on the out, like the celebrations and the community and the connections happening over here. I feel like it might be all against you or feeling that way at least. That, will, that won't be for everybody, of course. In the near future, moving forward, we have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is sort of striking out on your own energy. If, it, if this is a workplace situation that's kept you feeling bound, that's been full of drama, the boss was sucked, something like that, um, I see you striking out on your own, finding your own independence, your own contentment, finance, all that sort of your own abundance here. You've got the abundance crystal at the top of your reading and it came out as well here. So um, it can very well be talking about a workplace situation as well here. But Ace of Cups, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles is very much striking out on your own energy. Being successful, delivering your message, speaking from the heart, honouring yourself, self-loving energy. Um, creative and expression and energy, being enthusiastic, ready to move forward with, with the page of pentacles, this new manifestation, if that applies, a new job, ready to just take on what's next, bugger what, you know, releasing the past here, what you were waiting for that may not have ever come or a situation you invested a lot in that hasn't, um, hasn't paid off perhaps or that you felt like you've juggled so much and you just need more balance now we've got self-acceptance as well nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love 
whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. Self-acceptance with the Nine of Pentacles there. And just believing in your message with the complete page of wands. I see you moving into a quite empowered sort of energy in the coming week. And this that brings me to actually back to the this charm because it was down and it was off to the side as if to say future energy. So I just I would like to think that this is a week that brings you liberation, brings you empowerment, uh, and helps you trust the wisdom that you have already and tune into that. To offer love and compassion in this situation as well for self. And perhaps like filling your own cup as as well like noticing where like stop pouring out into this situation perhaps and just fill yourself up for a minute take a breather for that in self-perception with the ace of pentacles high priestess and the strength card so this is um definitely about trusting your intuition this can also be somebody i uh, could be reading for somebody who works in um the uh, what would you call it, the spiritual community, the healing community, somebody who, with the high priestess, very intuitive, somebody perhaps, even in, the, you, you could have a, a, any type of work really and be the high priestess where you are sort of a leading by example, showing showing up and teaching with love. You've got, in the way others perceive you, you've got the Hierophant. In your advice, you've got the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of strong intuitive energy here. And if I'm picking up on a very strong feminine that I could be reading for. Forgive me if you're a masculine, it can apply to anybody. But um, the Ace of Pentacles can be a brand new financial beginning, especially with the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. It's novice energy, it's learning energy, it's a new uh, journey. Perhaps you've already worked really hard on one project and it's time to start something completely different, whether you thought you were going to or not. Uh, there could be some changes in the plans. Uh, yeah, so strength card, high priestess, knowing that you are always in, in your own power, I, I would say here, that um, or at least in this position, in this situation, you know how to rise to the, to the occasion, you know how to... Um, take the next step and, and that this is going to be a move that is based on self-belief. You've got to back you in this situation is what I feel. And you know that. Like, it, that's the only way. Is it, yeah. The way others perceive you. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups and the Hierophant. Very generous, kind, fair, um very giving of your time and energy, always willing to help and teach others, always wanting to believe in everybody's success. Like I very much an I, an I believe in you type of person, I feel. Um, very much like helps people, help you help people chase their dreams and really, really activate themselves. Um, that could be literally what you do for work uh, or just the way you are as a, as, a, as a person, a default setting. You know, Pisces, strong Pisces and, and Leo energy there very strong leadership energy um that yeah you help people achieve their dreams and you help people like uh, yeah learn how to give them to themselves i think you teach self-love in a way as well so in the uh advice the tower and the nine of wands and the queen of cups so here any drama that may be happening, any towers that need to crumble right now or in your life around you. Just, uh, oh, we also had, sorry, resilience, which is literally the word, the description word for Nine of Wands, is resilience, or well, I think so anyway. Um, and so this advice is to just remain resilient, remain strong. The other oracle card, which sat with the Queen of Pentacles, was self-love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, which was up there, um, so much can change on the outside. So accepting the situation for what it is, being resilient, letting the tower crumble if it has to, um, and trusting that, you know, it serves. It did serve. It, it continues to serve in the lessons gained, in the wisdom gained. To have, yeah, resilience to protect yourself and just to choose self-love, to choose um, to honour yourself in this situation, which is definitely the energy in moving forward with that Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You know, we've got self, 
love, forgiveness, and self acceptance are the are the key uh, wisdom or offering. What is it? Wisdom offering, wild offering, uh, oracle cards. It's very much a liberate yourself energy, Miss Lilith here, um, and choosing you know divine connections, healthy connections, and communities and things that support you. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the outcome section, Seven of Wands. It is that Lilith energy again. It's protecting yourself, liberating yourself. Yes, this is a challenge, but rising up against it, putting an end with the Ten of Swords to the things that don't serve, the things that aren't working. The Tower card is there. You know, let it blow up and just stand back and watch if you have to. Um, yeah, there's, this is. I feel like you got yourself out of the way, perhaps as well with this energy, or to this. This is advice, so it could be advice to get yourself out of the way so that this can crumble so that you're not you know affected by the debris perhaps you don't feel like you have to be but the situation i see with there's a lot of heartache and, and attachment here though this to yeah this it, i feel like it's going to be a process for you to release this or to move through this anyway the wheel of fortune is there in the in the outcome as well so from from liberating yourself from this and and calling calling an ending uh, the other oracle card was empowerment which sat with the seven of wands empowerment rise up these are all the challenges people opinions all the things that come against you convictions whatever it is and you're defending yourself get back no way you're empowering yourself you're creating change and you're putting the end to things that don't serve you or don't work for you or you're allowing things to end that need to end if they want to leave your life then they may they may do so um yeah wheel of fortune big changes coming here in the end of the, the, to end the reading with the wheel of fortune definitely shows that this is a, a pivotal moment in your life perhaps a chapter closing out maybe or um at least some dramatic changes in in the way we move forward but let me remind you yes the outcome is ten of swords and seven of wands very you know empowering but tricky energy you're moving into the Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands energy. You're moving into more liberation and freedom, free-spirited energy, off on an adventure sort of thing and content with what you have. Self-acceptance, you're moving into this place of, I'm okay with me. I'm okay with my choices. This may be what has happened here, but I'm okay with the way I handled myself. That's what I feel. Okay, I'm going to leave the reading there. I hope that gave some comfort, clarity or guidance to somebody out there and I look forward to reading again next week. Bye. Hello, group number three. And welcome to your reading. We had the um, quartz cluster. So we'll jump straight into the charms for group number three. What charms do I want to start with? Okay, so we'll start with the dolphins and pink quartz. So this um, reading, I feel, is about connection. It's about healthy connection. It could be a love relationship. It, it could be friends, workplace. It could be any sort of situation where you are connecting with other people. Um, and some of those connections have been or are not as harmonious as others. There is a need to rely on self-love in this situation and to feel fuel your own sense of self-worth and um, uh, what's the word I want? Not self-empowerment, but of the same energy. Um, it's like to back yourself in a way. Um, we have the peg along with this... Um, nut bolt sort of energy it's uh, this charm to me talks about harmonious relationships working together um holding together um you know things that just flow without effort and um this can talk to the mundane sort of workplace situations um you know showing up and getting the job done we have this beautiful pendant that i attribute to the queen of pentacles or the empress because it's just such an accomplished person and underneath sat this attachment charm. So I feel like for this situation, 
there could have been a, 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 a circumstance here or a situation or relationship that threatened your happiness or threatened to affect you in some way but you are so much more than that situation and more than that relationship and more than more all situation or whatever it was because it sat on top I just feel like it either this is a situation in your past that you are rising up out of now or um, because of such situations in the past you know now know how to deal with this in a better way or are trying to at least I feel yeah I feel though there's some sort of setbacks here though with the owl charm which is um, the totem for Lilith so it does talk about wisdom and intuition and liberation empowerment very strong independent energy um, breaking free from something but it was face downwards so maybe having a bit of trouble seeing through the dark at this time maybe just being in the dark we had the bell charm which is an indication of some good news coming your way, blessings. So we'll just so always just keep that as an extra. It can also denote that this situation is a blessing. If something has come to an end here or something's not working, there's conflict of some kind, understand that that's a blessing in itself as well because perhaps it threatened, it, it would have otherwise threatened your, your energy or your, um, your peace. And the last one we had was this beautiful uh, flower charm which actually came up in all three readings today and it talks about um, communities that are supportive that are um, you know that work together that cooperate and collaborate and come together and everyone shares their individual piece of um, wisdom or resource and it all comes together to create the whole so that is something I feel you're seeking in your life companionship and connection and um, and friendship and joy and play and all of these wonderful things and um, so when there's situations or experiences that threaten that or that are the, or to the opposite effect, we sort of question our self-worth or um, our right to joy and, and healthy, meaningful connections. And if they'll ever come, and that sort of thing can be quite a setback and can be quite deflating. So I do feel a little of that sort of energy. But the fact that this came out at all is it talks about a journey. It talks about a real deep spiritual journey. Um self-empowerment self-discovery self-love self-exploration sort of energy um, it talks about every little experience you have whether they are hard and harsh or you know joyful blessings um, all of them are blessings and all of them you know etch into the detail of your being it, it talks about the, the, the totality of your journey um, and accepting it for what it is and that each little marking whether it's you know painful or, or joyful whatever it brings to you it, it's part of your being it's all part of your story and I feel like there's been a lot of that sort of thing in your past as well a lot of um, situations or people that have just not that maybe threatened your happiness or taken you for granted or tried to use you or something like that there's this and because it's sat on top I just do feel like you're either but that's behind you or it could be a pattern of that throughout childhood or, or your life. Um, do we want to go straight to that? We'll go to the tarot now. I think that was all of them. So we had... Oh, we had the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. So this is younger energy. This could be siblings you're dealing with or younger people. Um, it could be a, a, a potential intimate connection that um, was perhaps flighty or not grounded perhaps like it's very slow moving energy uh, it can offer a lot of promise and a lot of movement forward but there's a nine of swords as well so there's something about this situation perhaps in your past like all this energy all of this enthusiasm all of this work put into something shown up for something and, and the, the you know the energy was put there the dreams the wishes um, and at this point is we've got the nine of swords for keeping feeling stuck uh, not feeling stuck feeling like in the mind feeling um, like this the owl reversed basically you can't see your way through this scenario and with all these ravens here I'm, I'm going to pull the um, druid animal oracle early because it is raven all of the swords in this deck have ravens but there's just so many here in the nine of swords um, and this is a, a message of healing, initiation and protection. So uh, 
Bran, Bran, which is the Druid word for Raven, offers initiation, protection, and the gift of prophecy. The initiation in practice may be as formal as undergoing an initiation ceremony, or as informal as being initiated into a new profession. It marks the death of one thing and the birth of another. The power of the raven can also bring you the deepest form of healing, which is achieved through a process known as the resolution of opposites, making it possible for you to resolve conflicts that have long laid buried in your unconscious or in your past. And that sort of reminds me of that, if that was the ravens. <laughs> yeah. um, all these things in your past that you've healed from and you've like in huge journeys, initiations you've gone through that bring you deeper into knowing yourself and, and you choosing, like making choices that are in alignment with self-love and joy and honouring what's right and true for you. Okay, so yeah, we've got some delay sort of energy, wanting to move forward but not being able to move forward fast enough. We've got dreams and wishes, we want joy, but there's something here that's causing you a lot of anguish as well, a lot of uncertainty, perhaps feeling alone. Let me see if a card wants to come out for that nine of swords before i move on oh. six of cups oh so this is a situation that could be to do with family it is the season uh, to be connecting with these sort of people um a lot more uh for, for some people anyway some people connect all year round, but the Six of Swords is, um, you know, those soulful connections, soulmate connections, people from the past. It could be siblings here. I've got the, a lot of uh, two brothers and a sister sort of energy in the middle there um, that, that could could apply for you. So, what else we got here? Ooh, so many, so many. All right. I don't know if I want to take all those, but we'll have a look. Seven of Swords came up right. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Oh, oh, yeah. This is moving into the challenge now, isn't it? Feeling like somebody has been, yeah, some, something about this situation has been dishonest, uh, dishonouring. Um, yeah, and enough's enough, I feel. This, the, there was another charm that fell out at the end there, but I put it back in because I wasn't sure if it was for the reading, but it was the nail, enough's enough like a nail in the coffin sort of thing so these energies um whatever this situation is you've had to withdraw from um we need to withdraw from and take take healing take time in the um, I feel like somebody's immature actions or impulsive actions or um, inappropriate behavior, flighty behavior, inconsistency, that sort of immature energy has really, um, has really caused you to feel a lot of pain for whatever reason. Somebody who's perhaps been very dishonest and perhaps told you things that you, that you want to hear or, or you know, to get what they want at the time. That can be the case as I can see a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, lip service, perhaps. So we have the, and the challenge, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords and the Hermit, and companionship. When you fully bless and em embrace your aloneness, you are ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. So, yeah, I feel if this could have been a family situation, which wouldn't be really hard, especially at this time of year, to assert a certain boundary and cut people out or, or to cut off a, a way of relating to somebody um, to protect yourself. The Six of Cups, it can be, yeah, like a, a brother that's causing you dramas or something like that. Um, it feels sibling like but may not be could be it could be a lover or their family or you know your your partner's brother or something who knows everyone would be a bit different but um just two brothers here i'll go through the star signs too that may be helpful as well while we're here before we go too far ahead we've got very strong leo energy here like three times we have Aquarius here. 
Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, and potentially Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, okay. But if that didn't resonate, that's okay. It doesn't matter too much. It just might give you an indication of who you're dealing with. You already know who you're dealing with. Who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, in the challenge, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Not certain how where to plant your seed, perhaps. Not certain where to go from here or where to find new connections. Feeling very isolated and alone. Feeling like healthy connections are, you know, at arm's reach at all times. It brings me back to this, uh, uh, you know, a message that there is, and, and the companionship card that I just read, you know, welcoming, accepting your solitude and accepting, you know, that you can only, you know, to, say, to have those boundaries and say no to people that aren't going to honour you so that you can attract. It's very law of attraction energy in this reading, and I felt that in the next section that I'll get to, uh, or one of the next, yeah, the next one. Um, but there's this, this developing understanding for you, I feel, or at least a, a lesson recently that's, you know, helps you truly, um, know deeper that in order to have these beautiful connections, you need to honor yourself first. And that means boundaries. That means, you know, saying no to what doesn't work so that you have space and time and energy for what does not tolerating any crap anymore if that applies but yeah feel it keenly feeling loneliness especially as it comes up to the holiday season and there's a lot of restrictions with COVID it could be that you're feeling very isolated in that way and unable to connect with the family that you'd like to um not sure how to uh not sure which way to go how how to deal with this or how to get how to get new life in this situation or how to have something fresh and new or how yeah I feel very tight now in the solar plexus feeling very powerless to that situation like it just like it has to come from outside of you whether that's a circumstance a situation a group of friends or something it has to come from outside of you before you'll feel that sense of connection and security but I feel like it needs to be turned within because I've just there's a real tightness at the core of my belly um it just feels like a really deep core wound too triggering something from the past something could be triggered from the past this could be something that's come back up again from the past that you, you thought you dealt with maybe as well um so we'll move on to beliefs now and this is where i saw that law of attraction energy simply because we've got the sun card and that's in your beliefs you have this firm belief that to attract and to have positivity and vibrance and beautiful experiences in your life you need to emanate that energy you need to believe in yourself and believe in the positive you need to just stretch up and reach up to the sun uh, with the four of cups and the strength card as well so there's this a setback there's this deflated energy there's the need for courage what's your next oracle card which i sat with the strength card there's this need for courage there's this feeling of perhaps unrequited love or being rejected or feeling like dissatisfied with something like you could or should have all the happiness or papers perhaps other people seem to have all this happiness over here and and you're sitting there alone waiting for your turn that could be this the story here as well and that you have to be so strong and and harbor this burden in your loneliness alone um that yeah that could definitely be here too sort of this situation coming to an end or this immature person if it was you're dealing with a person that you, you know, had to walk away from um yeah, there's a there's a real sense of um, of sadness and not enjoying, not liking what's being offered up to you at this time, at least. But there's also this belief that you need to remain positive as well. So I kind of feel like you might be just go easy on yourself. If you need to feel sadness and grief and loss, then feel sadness, grief and grief and loss. Don't push yourself to be what you think you need to be in order to attract and gain things or or situations. But just go through the motions as you need to. You know, positivity and that all that all that wonderful stuff will come in the right timing as well. Um, beliefs, root of the issue. Oh, what was that? Eight of Wands was up the top. This is this was in the circumstances. I dropped it. Um, it talks about movement. It can talk about air travel. It can talk about um, a lot of action and things moving forward very fast. 
and that could be very daunting for you too or that there's been a huge change in direction and then and that is scary and causing delays there's this energy of huge change and movement forward and fastness but that in itself has caused a lot of delays so i don't know how that resonates it doesn't make any sense at all but it might for you <sighs> okay a little break beliefs there we go judgment the star and the ace of cups are the root of the issue i feel like there was another card here Possibly, mustn't have been so we've got epiphanies um realizations that what you're hoping for and what you wish for in, in love and healthy connection in this way um i feel like there's this real understanding that everything I've said so far about putting boundaries up and not accepting less um, and not settling for less just to have connection or making excuses for other people's behavior but truly knowing that the right the way forward for you to attract what you wish for that the the, the um, you know this is a card that talking about hope and what you want to draw in I do feel that it's love that you want to draw in it's healthy connections there's this understanding and, and realization with the judgment card that to do that we need to um respect honor and um, protect yourself against anything less than by embodying deeper um self-love show me how to love myself show me how to take care of the inner child show me how to be kind within when you stop step into self-forgiveness so much can change on the outside so yeah the root of the issue is it's almost like it's again again that feeling of something that's just out of reach like it's outside of yourself but it's not it's inside remember tuning back into inside and finding it there first and protecting that inside protecting that inner child not letting anyone affect you or it in any negative way and believing in yourself all right so in the beliefs i already read that <laughs> what am i doing in the recent past we had the three of cups the tower and the page of wands some very um conflicting energies here as well and what did it say about opposites is that this card Yeah, making peace with the past is indicated here quite heavily. So there is some sort of reconnection perhaps or something that should be a celebration or could have been a celebration in the recent past. Maybe it was actually a gathering or, or something coming together that didn't that perhaps blow up. Maybe there was a, a family argument or something here. We've got the tower card and then we've got the, the page of wands. So somebody has um, delivered a message perhaps of, uh, wanting to break free from something, wanting to liberate from something, wanting, um, yeah, there's, there's, I feel like maybe in this situation, people, some, some, the people involved wanted different things from it, where somebody might have, may have just wanted friendship, and somebody may have wanted more, and that didn't come to be, somebody wanted free spiritedness, or to be, unbound and um if that applies there's um i want to get another another card i think because this i feel like this is an actual event that happened that caught that gave you the opportunity to lift yourself up out of it maybe or gave you the opportunity to Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, this this could be sibling, like just yeah, I do get that sort of Page of Swords. There's a lot of young energy here, a lot of um, fiery energy, trying to gain all the information, trying to get your message across. Maybe that message not coming across as as, as you'd like it to have done. Uh, Seven of Cups, confusion. 
this, yeah, it's like I see like for some people this may literally be the case, but I see like a family barbecue gone wrong. <laughs> it may it may be like something is a lot different to that for for many obviously, but the cards I see here make a lot of people involved, a lot of opinions, a lot of um, trying to figure out what's true, what's right, and what's real, and not run off of impulse. But perhaps that's happened. Mis there's a lot of misdirected energy or, or misdirected information perhaps as well. All right, we'll just move forward. You know what that was because it's recent past. You've been there. Now we're moving to recent, fu oh, near recent future. In the recent future. <laughs> we, have, we have, I can't even do that. We have the moon. The Hermit, uh, sorry, the Hanged Man and the Four of Swords with Divine Timing. The Divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust in your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. And I put that there because of, where these, of what these cards speak to. These deeper emotions and being in suspension or being in meditation and pausing from a situation, being in... Like, these are all of the motions that you will go through in regards to processing this. That deep falling to, you know, bending over backwards, trying to figure out and then trying to look at it differently and analyze it from every different angle and then ugh, giving up and just taking some rest and it, it and then back again through the cycles, I feel. So it may be a bit of a internally tumultuous week ahead um, because these are very deep internally processing cards that do talk about a lot of emotion and a lot of feeling and um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of, you know, processing, just deep processing. And the cards that we have here talk about isolation and being stuck and heartbroken and being kept up at night by the thoughts of this situation as well, feeling deflated. So, you know, there's a, a deep need to honour yourself, look after yourself and, like, oh. If you do have supportive friends or you're feeling called to do some sort of healing or or um or get support in any which way, definitely seek that out you don't you don't need to go it alone, but then again at the same time you you do need to go through this process but do do seek support where you can is what I'm saying because um even just a, a friendly hello from somebody might give you what you need in that moment um yeah it's interesting this this crystal now jumping out to me in just all the different directions of this cluster it's <laughs> I wanted to say something really inappropriate but I don't know if I should <laughs> there's an expression that comes with the word cluster maybe you know it um well I'll skip it we'll skip it uh in self-perception in self-perception, we have the three of wands reversed, the ten of wands and nine of wands, 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 heavy ones, feeling delays, feeling set back, like what you wanted you were waiting for or, you know, was meant to come to be, but it, for whatever reason did not. And so you're feeling this huge setback and this sense of, um, you know, having to go and almost lick your wounds uh, and, you know, it's, it, it's, I feel like something very heavy has been dumped on you by this situation. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, really um, protecting, like got your guard up, wanting to protect yourself and feeling like just the weight of the world is on your shoulders at this time. We have Impatience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always right at the right place at the right time. We've got two cards here to talk about divine timing, okay? Just trust in this process. If this is how you're feeling right now and you don't want to be there, just, I've got the, the rush of goosebumps that this message is, just trust that this is where you are meant to be. Yes, it may be painful and really overwhelming in the mind and heart and body, um, but ride this out. Trust that, you, that where you are right now is where you are meant to be. I'm sending so much love. After I get off this reading, I'm going to use my bowl and send some love to group three. So hopefully while maybe even at this point in the reading, you will connect in and feel it. Who knows? Timelines are awesome like that. So it could penetrate you at the start of the reading. It could hit you after. 
who knows but i just yeah that bowl is powerful i will be sending some beautiful self-loving energy to you 333 my bowl is which is um the divine feminine the shekna so um very gentle energy there i'll be sending for you in the coming week and i want you to know that you can connect in with that energy at any time throughout this week just a, a big a big holding message there um okay so moving forward into the way others are perceiving you seven of wands death card six of pentacles feeling challenged going through rebirth going through your own perhaps ego death there's six of pentacles here looking at where you've perhaps been over generous or given people the benefit of the doubt and now you've since learned that you know maybe you it could pay to be a little bit firmer or a little less forgiving or a little less generous that you may be sitting with that and wanting to shift how generous you have been to people that maybe didn't deserve it um outside of that pattern that message it's it people do see you as a very generous kind-hearted person that always does you know i, I wanted to say that 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 saying about taking your shirt off your back but it feels too i don't know yeah, i just feel like you do really care for people um so much so that i feel like you give too much out and that a lot of that needs to come back into you which is interesting group three group three is usually quite interesting i'll say that um so yeah if you're being challenged to, but you know and look at this as well the activation of the solar plexus here and how i was feeling before so knotted and tight in that area would help you to um definitely meditate and, and you know push some energy through those areas um now in the advice five of swords justice two of wands getting clear and and a balanced uh, approach or understanding or perception of this situation this drama this conflict this bullying perhaps that just didn't need to be there this crow on your shoulder it could be your own self-doubt here your own worst enemy or it could be a person with this situation um trusting that justice will be served whether that's the karmic recoil um or literal justice in a court system but the the, the advice is to move forward two of wands we also got the direction card please lord show me the right action right now please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction may i hear the prompting of my own body and if for some reason i'm about to head the wrong way please stop me the prompting in the body brings me back to the solar plexus so if you do feel that oof, tightness there trust that listen to that tune into that it is a redirection call or a pause and, and analyze sort of energy but here in your advice moving forward put the sword down if that applies if you have got your sword up still put it down only strike it in the in the name of justice only you know use it then what happened here there we go am i still on yeah okay good um phone's nearly dead hopefully we make it to the end two of uh, two of wands so yeah knowing that this situation is barren it offers you nothing the past of this it's done with it that's like bringing back to the raven when something is dead and something new is beginning you will see that raven to protect you and initiate you through that process it's definitely taking all the rest you can and and any healing practices that you feel you that will help you at this time take those up and get ready for the new adventure even if it is you know, there's a lot of delays right now you're feeling really weighed down and held back and and wounded warrior energy it doesn't mean you can't in this time of reflection and, and pause you can't slowly get excited or prepared for what's new because there is a new adventure waiting for you that are beautiful healthy connections waiting to come to you um and now the outcome we had take control take control i love that we'll just leave that as is we have public victory six of wands the world card the completion of a cycle the ending of something we've got that with that raven as well 
Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, wanting to protect your energy, your resources, your finances, your home, your heart space, wanting to just close it in tight and protect yourself. Walking away from the situations that burden you and make you feel exhausted and um, used or, you know, you've given your all to and just haven't worked out how you'd wanted to. So there is success in your completion of this experience. There is victory waiting for you in the wisdom that you will gain when you close this chapter out and start the next chapter. This is walking away from something with, with, with your resources, what you've got left, you know, even if that means cutting your losses for some people, um, taking what you've got and moving on, moving forward, taking control of your life in this situation. So that's what I see for you, group threes. And I'm going to leave that there. I hope that gave some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. And I'll look forward to reading again next week. Bye.